Hey everyone and welcome to the May Cave. My name is Megan and today I am going to bring you my top books of, or my favorite books of 2017. I am sorry this video is so late. It just kind of went to the back burner for all the other videos I wanted to get done before 2017 ended. And because I work in retail, I picked up extra shifts, a lot of extra shifts, and I just didn't have time to get to everything and then I kind of forgot about this one. And now it's already halfway through January. But you're gonna get it anyway, so here we go. So I have a total of 11 different books to sh talk to you about. I'm not gonna talk in very in depth. If I have a review for it, I'll link it down below. If it's a series of books that I'm telling you about, then I'll talk about them all as one. So that's one book instead of three or two or however many it is. And this, of course, is in no particular order. I don't. I've read different types of genres this year, so I can't say that I love this one over that one or anything like that. So this is no particular order by how much I loved it or by when I read it. I just kind of piled them all together and stuck them next to me. So let's just get into it. So the first series I'm going to talk about, I did not bring down the whole series because it's a pretty large series. That is the Aborson or Old Kingdom series by Garth Nix. This is the first book, Sabriel. This is something my husband actually introduced me to and it's a very great fantasy YA series that I really loved. It has some stereotypes to it. It's a little bit, um, the pacing is a little off sometimes, but I really enjoyed it. I don't have a review, a review for the series yet because my husband is going to do the review with me and we just haven't gotten around to it yet. But when that happens, I will link it down below and you guys will know about it. This book, uh, excuse me, this series has a total of, I think, six books. Two of them were more recent, or three of them were more recent. The first three were written quite a while ago, and then there's two short stories that go with it, or three, three short stories that go with this series. But you'll find all about that, at, all about, about all of that when I eventually do review for the series. But I highly recommend checking it out. The next book is another series. It's a trilogy. It's the Duna trilogy by Jodie Lynn Nye and Anne McCaffrey. This is a sci-fi series. This was written, I think, in the 60s or 80s, some time ago. It's a fun little book series. It's about humans that are trying, they find this planet, they think they can colonize it, but then there's this other sentient race, and they have this thing about not colonizing planets with other sentient races, and it's obviously a, a cat race. And it's just how they deal with it, and then what happens afterward. There's three books. There's Treaty at Duna. There is Crisis on Duna, and there is Decision at Duna, and I thought it was a really fun series. It doesn't have the best ratings, it's like a three star rating on Goodreads, but I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. I don't think I have a review for this one though, but there's that one. The next book on my list was an ARC giveaway I got this year that I bought the paperback for, and that is The Tie Between Us by Olive Collins. This is a really great historical fiction novel set between Jamaica and Ireland in two different time frames. And I thought it was just riveting. I loved it. I highly recommend this to anyone who loves historical fiction in any kind of way. And I do have a review for this one, so I will link that down below. The next book I have to talk about is a story set in a world that was already written. So this book is called Skull's Horn. It's by Brian Staveley. He wrote a trilogy called The Chronicle of the Unhewn Throne series. It's a, a trilogy. It's a really amazing fantasy series. I highly recommend it. One of my top favorite fantasy series or series of all time, and I'll do a review of it eventually. This book was written after that original trilogy, but it's set before that trilogy. It's just a side story about one of the more lesser known, or one of the side characters in the original trilogy, and I loved it. I think it's awesome. Everything Brian Sabley has written is just amazing, and I can't wait for more of his books to come out. Next is a duology by Howard Andrew Jones. It is called The Chronicle of Sword and Sand. The first book is Desert of Souls, and I actually picked it up because of the cover. Look at that. It's a beautiful cover. The second one's not that you know, it's called The Bones of the Old Ones. The stories are really fun. It's a, like a magical, fantastical, historical fiction series. I think it's just so much fun. It's not too in-depth that you really have to think a lot, but it's still fun. It still has some challenging, clever stuff that you have to figure out, and it's just sword fighting and magic and demons and monsters and just all this fun stuff. I think they're again, I need to think of another word for fun. There are supposed to be more books in this series, but the author has had to take some time for other books and, you know, but he'll hopefully he will eventually come back to the series because you can tell it's unfinished and I really want it to be finished, hopefully with more covers like this one because this is such a beautiful cover. The next book I have is An Old Fashioned Girl by Louisa May Alcott. This was such a fun, sweet read. I really enjoyed this book. It's about a girl who lives in the country. She's an old fashioned girl. She goes to Boston to visit a friend for a while. And it's not just that, it's, you know, throughout their lives being friends and how this girl has taught her and her, this other friend and her family how to love each other and not just material things. And it's really fun and sweet. It's a quick read. I mean, it's not that quick, but it's fun. 
and it's very endearing. So if you're looking for something that will brighten up your heart, then I highly recommend this one. So next I have two books by the same author, that is Jen Campbell. She's also a YouTuber here on, or a booktuber here on YouTube. She has five books out, I think, in total. I have almost all of them. I'm waiting for one more to come in the mail. The ones I read by her are More Weird Things Customers Say in Book Shops and The Bookshop Book. These are both really great books. This one is such it's so short and it's funny and it's just, if you love books, if you've ever been in a bookstore you, or if you've worked in a bookstore like I do, you would definitely relate to this one. And then this book, oh, it's just awesome. It's just a book about bookshops all around the world and it has fun bookish facts strewn throughout the book and it has cool pictures and I just love it. If you like books in any way, shape, or form, you have to pick up this book. Next is one of my more recent reads, and that is A Sister to Honor by Lucy Ferris. I really love this book. I thought it was so intriguing and thrilling and very different from anything I've personally read before, especially because I don't typically read too many contemporary novels or anything set in the modern age. But this one, it was so good, and I do have a review for this one, and I will link that down below. So the last two books I have to show you are actually the last two books in a five book series that I started in 2016 and I finished the last two in 2017. And that is book four, books four and five in the Twelve Houses series. Book four is, excuse me, Reader and Ray Links. This book series is by Sharon Shin. And book five is called Fortune and Fate. This is such a fun fantasy series. It has danger and adventure and it has magic and romance and happiness. And overall, there's a happy tone to the series. It's not a very dark disturbing series. A lot of fantasies tend to have a lot of dark themes. Even though this one does have some dark stuff in it, the overall tone and the way the characters are is very happy and enjoyable, and I really love seeing that in a fantasy series. And the plot is very interesting. Each book actually is very interesting on its own because each book is told from the point of view of a different character within this group of friends, and I thought that was so much fun. The first book is called Mystic and Writer, and I'll put a picture of that here. I mean, I own it. I just like pulling it out now. And if you like fantasy in any shape or form, I think you would love these books. I absolutely did. So that is it for my favorite books of 2017, a total of 11 different book series. I didn't separate the series. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you would like to read any of these books. Or if there are any books I didn't have um, a review for and you'd like me to review it, let me know down below and I will definitely do a review for that book. I just don't always have time to do a review for every book that I've read. Anyway, I guess that is it. I'm sorry for this really late 2017 video, but I'm putting it out there anyway, so I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!